exit the mouse. <laughs> oh, this is, looks nice. Green Heart Games. Whoa, this intro looks really nice. Oh, we're gonna do a bony. That one's all dirty. <laughs> Oh, the little habits. Oh, I love this. This is cool. <laughs> she got a mustache. <laughs> oh, what is this guy's name? Oh, wait, the dude's got no elbow. Elbows. Wait, nobody has elbows. <laughs> oh, somebody's cheating. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> She's not having none of this. Knock it off. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. All the little dragon made out of towels. This is so crazy. The whole place is <laughs> tavern keeper. Oh, that was... Bravo, bravo. That was that was a good that was a good intro. I really enjoyed that. Oh, that was great. So if you haven't guessed, we're playing tavern keeper this morning. It's uh, Saturday. It's 9 a.m. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing some tavern keeper. Uh, it's just a demo, but you can play the demo for free uh, yourself right now over on. Steam, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. Use online systems. Tavern Keeper offers some optional online features such as sharing and importing custom furniture pieces. Would you like to label them now? Sure. Why not? But we are going to just start new, I guess. This looks like a really little fun medieval uh, tavern uh, sim management building game. Uh, and we're playing the demo. The narrator is looking for a main character for his tale of tavern keeping. Could you fit the part? Experience a teaser not present in the full game. Oh, neat. Uh, learn the ropes, run your tavern for a few days, and decide how it all ends. Let's check that out. This is baking assets in bread oven. Oh, oh I see what they're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Press any key. Well, I'm clicking the mouse. I'm a, I'm a rebel like that. Welcome to Halflington. Picturesque, eh? You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you okay. take a look around? All right. All right, so we're panning around. Or using the right mouse button, you like. Click around. Cool. Rotate with the mouse or keyboard. Rotate. Oh, nice. I'm glad we can rotate. Probably stick to, like, one view, but nice that we have that option. And zooming in and out. I do love a tavern, don't you? So cozy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. Probably not. Not to get too technical, <laughs> but <laughs> can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. A, a table? Click on a table. Well, I would say that's Ooh, a table. That's a relief. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. <laughs> that's this good. next one will be a bit trickier. All right. Can you point out a patron? That's what I call customers. I just like how fancy it sounds. Oh, a patron, eh? Well, I would say that would be this Correct. person here. Though in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some <laughs> find it rude. Maybe some like it. That's objects and people handled. Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Ah, sure. Can you locate the storeroom? Click on the storeroom. Um, it's a big place. Okay, so there's some beds. I see up there. This was at the entrance. This was like a lobby area. This is obviously the you know the tavern area, cooking area. I would say like back here, but let's see. They're coming in here. This is the restroom. Um, I want to say here. Very good. Hey. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. <laughs> Oh dear, oh. is that an adventurer headed this way? It looks Always a handful, be. heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? All right. After all, interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. Oh, okay. 
but we weren't supposed to poke people, but we'll do it anyway. Ooh. Oh, hello. As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. <laughs> uh, cut it out. Stop chopping the bar. <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you? <laughs> he frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Hm. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Psh. Never mind, I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. It's true. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Me? Hello? That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? Uh... Actually, I'll be the main character of the story, sorry. <laughs> How about your quest is to sit quietly over there? Um, I'm going to just say, actually, I'll be the main character of the story, sorry. <laughs> you? Impossible. You're a tavern keeper. You don't even have a sword. Watch this. He yanks his blade out of the bar and takes a few swings. Hiya! Have at thee! <laughs> he chops a tankard in half, Calm breathing down. heavily. <laughs> you see? This is real main character stuff I'm showing you. And what have you got? An apron? That's all wrong. Hey, what kind of story nice would apron, the bards right. write about you? <laughs> uh, obviously the kind about running a tavern. Not impressed. Tankards can't even fight back. <laughs> um, obviously the kind about running a tavern. The tavern? I don't get it. What would the focus even be? Drinks, food, and entertainment? Yeah. Designing your own decor? Chatting with customers about their lives? Yeah. <laughs> his voice softens, and he looks down at his sword, seeming lost. But... But what about me? If I'm not the center of attention, what am I supposed to do? I was all prepared for grim one-liners and fighting dragons. You can still do that. Relax, have a drink. There's room in my story for you. If it helps, I hear the fire brigade are dragons. Here we go. Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just... Just hang, hang out? out. <laughs> he takes his hand off his sword and heaves a heavy sigh. He seems relieved. That... Well... That sounds nice, actually. <laughs> the whole destined hero thing was weighing on me, if I'm honest. If you need me, I'll be trying out a cozy chair by the fire. All right. You hand him a tankard, and he wanders off to admire the decor, sword sheathed. Oh. So, crisis averted, apparently, it looks like. <laughs> you managed to defuse the situation? Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Eh. <laughs> Let's move Ye on. Yield little faith. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Oh. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. <gasps> okay. What are we doing? Building relationships, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Click any mouse. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Get my swamp. tavern. I hope you like mud. Get out of my swamp. First things first, it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. Okay. Hovering your cursor over things like checklists can bring up helpful tooltips. Why don't you try it? Oh, okay. Many user interface elements have tooltips like this one. Tooltips contain important information. They're always worth a look. Learn about nested tooltips. Tooltips within tooltips. Some tooltips, like this one, contain links to other tooltips or buttons. Before you can interact with elements within a tooltip, you have to wait for the tooltip to lock in. This happens automatically after a few seconds. Continue to, to continue the tutorial, hover over on this nested tooltip. <laughs> I don't know how many times I could say, I think this is the most I've ever said tooltips in like 60 seconds. Nested tooltips. As you can see, tooltips can connect to other tooltips. It could be tooltips all the way down, or is it up? It, just tooltips nested in. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 
You see what I mean? The whole game floats on a rolling sea of bottomless tooltips. You can dive deeper and deeper, and just as you think, you see the bottom, and actually just another tooltip is <laughs> a link to get another tooltip, and it contains a link that leads you to another tooltip. <laughs> I can't stop! Oh, come on. Oh, is it just, it's just flipping back and forth between the two? No, there's more. Okay, let's see. Can we break the game? Can we break the demo? We'll be back after these messages. It's gonna get to the point where I can't click on it anymore. Oh, I can't get... I don't think I can get back. Can I get back? Okay. <laughs> that was insane. Okay. Okay. Click to complete the tooltip <laughs> tutorial. Phenomenal work! <laughs> you mastered tooltips! And thus the secret to mastering the whole game. That was the whole game. <laughs> Onwards! The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. Oh. You'll need one to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. Okay. Build this. Uh, choose furniture and fixtures and place them in various rooms of your tavern. Okay. We need a tap. Oh, we need a tap. So this is just like the tap room and stuff that would go in the tap room. Okay. A place to tap barrels to serve, ideally, the ones uh, with drinks inside. Okay, so this is saying, this is showing me, so I can put it anywhere, I'm going to put it, <laughs> put it in the bedroom. Um, can I put it in here? So, people are going to come in this way, and I want to look at it like that, or like this, I, like, I kind of like this. Um, okay, let's see, how do we like rotate? Shift, no snapping, alright, that's fine, let's see. Uh, right click is to rotate. There we go. I'm gonna cozy it up right here. It's that easy. Ready to hire your first staffer? Sure. Let's take a look at this tap here. There's no barrel. <laughs> we got no beer. Oh wait, it's right there. It's all good. Just grab one and put it away. All right, we're hiring somebody. Hire staff. Use this to see available applicants for your tavern and hire more staff. Valer Valerani? Valerani. Same Valerani. Their favorite quality is their inheritance, and thinking about orcs makes them laugh. Stamp here to hire. Help wanted. Loyal, hardworking service persons, urgently required. High tolerance for abuse. Abusive conditions plus. P.S. No plague victims. We have plenty already. <laughs> Advertise. Advertise position. Pay some cash to get one or two more applicants. The application pool will automatically refresh every seven days. How much money do we have? It looks like up here we got a little gold bag. We've got 183 coins. So let's see. Easily bribed. When you give Valer Valerani a cash bonus, it costs half as much. Hmm, interesting. Higher for 12, daily wage 7. I don't know. Do we want to see? Is there... Oh, okay. So there's... Okay, there's a few people here. So we got Valerani. Um, what's this up here? Snail. Stress lethargy. Valerani's coping strategy to critical unhappiness is to get to bed for 24 hours. She's an unskilled worker. Cheap, easy to please, but not the most reliable. As an unskilled worker, Valerani often takes erratic small breaks and might be late to work sometimes. Um, expectations. Atmosphere does not like it when it's too dirty, does not like it when it's cold, does not like to be in the dark. Sleeping arrangements. Happy to share a room with no more than four others. Wants a quiet place to sleep. Wants a bed to sleep in. Work. Does not like to work more than 14 hours per day. Well, I mean, that's... I mean, that's a given. Server skills. Not that great. 40% uh, patron service satisfaction. Plus 4% faster while carrying food or drinks. Servers are your frontline workers interacting with patrons directly. They take food and drink orders, act as bar keeps, deliver food to patrons, and take room reservations at the front office. Skill 20. Chef skills. Chefs prepare meals for your hungry patrons. The higher the skill, the better meals they prepare. Skill level 33. 0% uh, on 0.5 star recipes. Negative 8 on 1 star. Negative 22 on 2 star. Plus 7%. Faster while carrying food. More ingredients and 12% chance to contaminate food when cooking <laughs> what <laughs> janitor janitor keeps your tavern clean of dirt maintain hearths and other facilities and repair any damage done by fights or fires skill level 88 wow 
And Dog's Body Skill. What is this? The Dog's Body takes care of odd jobs around the tavern from storing goods and loading taps to washing linens. Experienced Dog Body is tier 2 plus. Can also inspect ingredients. When staff inspect your storeroom, they go through and check all ingredients stored there for signs of spoilage. This can reduce the spoil rate. Only staff with dog body skill of tier 2 or more can inspect dog body skills. Okay, yeah, we, think, yeah, we know that. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh. Somebody kind of well-rounded here. The greatest hobby is fighting oozes. Spends their spare time avoiding doing work. Excels at distributing tips. Oh, whoa. Diana. Holy cow. You are on top of it. Dirt dot. Diana becomes unhappy when the environment isn't clean. Stress drinker. Diana's reaction to critical unhappiness. What's critical unhappiness? When staff becomes very unhappy, they can eventually suffer from mental break. This is generally considered a bad thing. <laughs> I would say so. And Riley. Let's see what's up with Riley. Riley's reaction to critical unhappiness is to eat a bunch of stuff. <laughs> All right. Riley has a particular tendency to leave a lot of mess behind. Oh, we don't like that. What's this guy? Uh, is prone to start fights when becoming critically unhappy. We don't like that. She just gets tired, you know? Don't want her to be unhappy. I guess she'd be a good starter. I mean, she is like maxed out with all these awesome skills, but uh, I don't want her drinking everything <laughs> if she gets unhappy. So I don't know. This is a this is a tough one. Plus, she's kind of expensive. Maybe. Oh, maybe this guy. Riley's gonna eat everything. She's gonna drink everything. He's gonna start fights. She's just tired. Um. I don't know. Let's go with. Uh, I don't know. This guy looks fun. Let's go with Bolfum. Let's do it. Let's do it. Really? Based on those qualifications? Are they a friend of yours? Yes. Nepotism at its best. It's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Okay. Oh, we have like a little timeline in up your upper left here. Now six hours. So I see there's like Oh, merchant level starts in seven point six hours. Pay starts in fifteen point five, and then he's gonna be back the next day. That's cool. I like that little timeline up there. Okay, put some drinks on sale. The merchant has... Oh, he's arrived? Where's he at? I don't see him. Can't Where's... find the merchant. He's the large fellow with the boat. Large fellow with a boat? Is he over this way? Let me zoom out. Oh, oh, he's over here. Oh, whoa, he is cool looking. Oh, I like that guy. Looks like a big, some kind of big troll guy. Okay, wait for the merchant. Buy from the merchant. Click on the merchant to open the trading window and then buy at least one beverage barrel. Oh. Let me show you the merchant. Yeah, I, was I going understand there. he can be hard to miss. Well, he's fairly large. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. At least one barrel of drink. Itch. We got Mudweiser. <laughs> we got Scrape Scrape Barrel, Blood Wine, Mudweiser Extreme, Bog's Bitter, and Druid's Foot. That's awesome. Um Mudweiser Extreme. Mudweiser is popular with people who risk being killed. <laughs> Stored in pallet. Interest rate stars. One and a half. Human 100%. Turns into dust in eight days. Spoil rate. Looks like a lot of these, they all turn to dust. Dust! Um, this has got two... It's the most expensive. Well, that one's the most expensive. But what's the 2x mean? Um, I don't know what the 2x times two. Maybe you get two if you order one? I don't know. Let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Purchase. Should I just get one for now? Let's do the blood wine too, just for the heck of it. The exact process of creation, while known, is often omitted for the sanity of everyone. Let's do that. Excited to tap that barrel? Select <laughs> the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it. Oh, okay. All right, empty. No drink is selected for this tap. Tap will remain empty. Um, select a drink to serve. Do I? So I clicked on that. Um, 
Sele oh, select a drink. Oh, here we go. Mudweiser or blood wine? Ten in stock. Let's go with, um... Let's start with the blood wine. We'll save the Mudweiser for later. Is he gonna go get it? Have staff is... So the, the barrel is just gonna sit there? We have to put it in our, like, storeroom. Yeah? He's gonna, he's gonna get it. Get it! <laughs> I just love this. It's not too... Not too fast paced. I like he's just he's just having a good old time. He's like, yep, I'm gonna go get it. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Alright. Let's see him install this. Yeah? Nice! That does it. Love it. Basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Unlock those doors. Okay, but um can I put this somewhere? Um uh, how do I empty? Ban from room. Rezone. Change this type of room. Um, is there a store? I don't think I have a store room. Let me... Oh, 25 point to change that to a store room. Otherwise, I can't do anything with this. It doesn't look like. I want to put this in the store room, but I guess I can't. I just wasted all that money. Okay, fine. Alright, we'll figure it out later. Here we go, deed. Ready to open for business. Fix seal. Oh, oh! The rotten stump. Oh, I can change it? <gasps> oh, I can change it. Um. Uh, 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 let's see. Um. Uh. Swamp. And. Wait, where's the ampersand? And. Slurry. There we go. It's the. The, the swamp. <laughs> The swamp. Oop! <laughs> there we go. The swamp and slurry. I like it. <laughs> it's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron, and your staffer will do the work. Really? So I don't have to do anything, huh? Here they come. First steps. Open your first tavern. I am enjoying the heck out of this. This is this is awesome. I love this. I think I'm gonna have have a lot of fun with this. Serve your first drink. Okay. He's like, hey, I need. a I need a drink. Cool, boy. Hey. Uh. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Go on. Mason, he's a hole digger. Learning about shirts makes them regretful. <laughs> what? Wants to try fighting the forces of neutral. Revealed that they wish they were a tavern keeper. Wait, that's. Oh, it's like a blood wine, right? It's not. This isn't beer. Drink ahoy! Sell your first drink. Ha <laughs> ha! What was this guy? Wants to try anything That's involving simple, hard work? See? Now, let me show you how to make your tavern more cozy. Yes, please. Decorating your tavern truly makes it your own. Ooh. Take this table, for example. Yeah. It's an empty canvas, oh. ready to transform. Okay. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak every Ooh. element according to your mood. Wow. Ooh, feeling romantic? And you needn't <laughs> stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine. Oh, piece wow. Piece by piece. Go wild! That's... For now, let's try something simple. That's awesome. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. Sure. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. Okay. All right, so we've got an axe, an ornate teapot, and a carved owl. So are we only decorating this table? He only wants the table decorated? Okay, so yeah, there's all kinds of stuff here. Text, magic, magic. Flats, textiles, lightings, that's cool. Mace got masonry. Ooh, that's, I like this. That's gonna be fun. Arms, vessels, items. Oh, I see. And everything. Axe, um, an ornate teapot. So I can put this here. Here you go. There you go, guys. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> well, there's no accounting for taste. That's enough decorating for now. That's it. Okay. You know, Fine. I think I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Sure. 
Go on, run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Ooh, tavern star, I like that. Oh, oh, what's going on up here? Oh, what's that? Storage overview. See, everything that is in your storerooms, you can keep an eye on demand and spoilage of individual items by checking their tooltips here. The storage overview can also be used to craft items later in the grade. Mudweiser Extreme. So these are what I have storage, but... But there's nothing in the storeroom! Let's see. Read the Gazette. Read the local Gazette newspaper. A notification will pop up on the right inside during the first day click to read it okay i don't see anything place a dartboard oh i can do that let's see a dartboard objects um are they like games paper containers templates tools just items um monocle oh oh here we go oh um I guess I don't have a dark port yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, the Bayou Chronicle. Bayou Chronicle. Uh, price a gold piece. Dark Lord steps down <laughs> during your adventure gathering into adventure party. Ruling things is actually really boring. He admitted. <laughs> that's cool. I like that little. Okay. Place, yeah, place a dartboard. Where is it? Use the build. Oh, build. Ah, okay. Let's see. Storeroom. Dartboard. Dartboard. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see. Where can we put a dartboard? Let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Here. This looks good. Let's try that. There we go. All right. Okay. Place it there. Build a storeroom. Well, I did that already, darn it. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oop! I'm going all over the place. Hold on. Let me get back to... Um, pallet. Here we go. Maybe if we put something in here. Like this! <laughs> Let's put it right there. There we go! Okay. Now we are cooking. Now we're cooking. Can you... Oh, is he gonna go get it now? I think I just I didn't click on it right. So, Ooh. are you gonna? Come on, go, go, buddy. Oh, patron satisfaction, eighty-one percent. Okay, what are you doing in here? If you're not, go, please, please go get the beer. Why? Why not? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Nothing I can make him do. Okay. Let's get to the next day. Wake up. Time to work, buddy. Do I have to make him wake up? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. A storybook. What's this? You hear like a Meryl. dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling? or a shaman's rattlestick. But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. <laughs> the skeleton's jaw creaks open slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate. Dreadful chilly out. You open? Um, um, is it? Yes, we're open. Not for skeletons. Don't want any trouble. <laughs> Many thanks, many thanks. The name's Cuthbert. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. Hmm. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Lifts the spirits, and I could use a bit of that. Something the matter? No offense, but <laughs> skeletons carry money. <laughs> Oh, just having a bit of a mid-death crisis, maybe. Stuck in a rut. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, me heart's not in the job anymore. What job? He's starting to wonder. 
Did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? <laughs> I could be missing out on a job I really love. Do do what you love, man. That's all you get. That's all you can do. Should change things up. So what do you want to do? Nothing wrong with picking the safe option. I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. You're hired. Cuthbert sighs, <laughs> the mournful sound coming from deep in his open rib cage in a way that makes no sense whatsoever. He brings the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Hardly anyone stops to talk before they knock my skull off with a big hammer. Hmm. So why not go get a job like mine? What if you don't like tavern work either? Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Who would hire an employee that makes their customers squeamish? I would, if they were a hard worker. You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword and shield. <laughs> the afterlife is too short to waste. Cuthbert slaps a palm against the counter. It makes a sound like a bowl of rocks being thrown at a wall. <laughs> You're a good sort. You know what? Next time you see me, I'll have an application for you. Boss. Boss. He gives a jerky nod and saunters away, whistling liplessly to himself through some mechanism you don't understand. <laughs> That's awesome. So we hired somebody through storytelling. Love it. Oh, we can pause. I just saw that. Merchant has arrived. Find the hidden coin. Ooh. Are you gonna go get this barrel? Because, like, it's about to spoil, and I don't like that at all. And that's the Mudweiser, right? Oh, it's Mudweiser Extreme. No, that shouldn't matter. Alright. We need to buy some more. More stuff here. Gunther's Blood Gar Blood Grog. <laughs> Name for its color, not its contents, you hope. Interest rating, stars, halfling. 59% uh, turns into dust in 8 days. Howl's Ale, Bog's Bitter. How much money we got? We got five. Let's do one of those. I don't know, just one of each, maybe? Just for fun? I mean, it's only 32, right? We need, we need as much as we can get. Um, and we're gonna need some more storage, right? So let's build and go in the storeroom pallet. Let's see what uh, we bought like four. Okay. Alright. So let's empty reserve for wine. Blood wine. Oh wait, I haven't really like bought it yet. Let me change this to that's a reserve for anything. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I just wish you would go and get it. Okay. Does he not know, like, how do I get him to, you know, do storage? So this is what we have, yeah, okay. Um... Clicking on their tools. I bet that nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check the new applicants. Maybe he'd like to work here. Oh, oh, would he be mm. in... Oh, here we go. Cuthbert, previously worked in a dungeon guarding doors. Always smiling, enthusiastic dogs make him nervous. That's awesome. Let's, yeah, let's, I'm just not even going to think about it. I'm going to hire him. Cold tolerant. Doesn't mind if it's cold. He's a little clumsy, it looks like. He's a little slow. It's fine. Frightening. Cuthbert appearance is quite alarming to patrons. Patrons have 20% chance to react negatively when they're right. Aw. Dark vision. Thanks to carrot heavy diet, Cuthbert can see in the dark. That's cool. Cuthbert is dead on the inside, the outside too. <laughs> All right, we're hiring him. As a skeleton, some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps, but no one's perfect. That's right. In fact, when he was alive, he... Oh, never mind, let's save that Bullseye! Story. Found a hidden coin. 
All right, now what do I do with it? Oh, it's a decoration. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I think I see a coin. Oh, look, hey, they're storing. They're putting stuff in storage, finally. <laughs> All right. All right. Somebody gonna serve this guy? It's not very dirty, that's good. Nothing seems to be very dirty. I like that. Hey. Try gaining a star. Okay. He's waiting. Patience. These guys are waiting as well. Alright. So do we have to go over to them to like... Oh, he will. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I just love this. I just love watching them walk around and... What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Loves peace and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's empty. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna pause it here a second. Select an item to serve. Let's go with this Gunther's blood blood grog. Oh, wait, wait, we should probably use the Mudweiser extreme because that was about to go bad. No barrels installed in the tap. No! We should probably... Tap room... Bar counter... Where is the tap? We should probably add another tap. Do I not have enough? Oh, I don't have enough. <gasps> okay. I was gonna say, I should probably add another tap. Oh, what's that? Oh, cooking. Tavern menu. Add or remove drink, food, and goods from your tavern's offerings. Adjust price to see your patron's interest and satisfaction. Well, we don't quite have... Oh, what's... We need more staff. <laughs> I don't think I can hire anybody, though. It's getting really busy. Um... Let's just let's just hire her. Oh, she just like I just like how they just pop up. <laughs> That's awesome. Why are you can't find blood wine anywhere? What? You're not you shouldn't be looking for blood wine. We have storage here. Oh, there's people asking for it, probably. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, oh, I can add a tap now. Okay. And then we can make this. Do I have blood wine? Here we go. One star rating already? You're a natural. Click on the message on the right to claim it. Star earned, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. This is this is my next Dave the Diver, I think. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Cool. We got our first tavern star, baby. Fun. Makes you want another one, doesn't it? Yeah? Oh. You gained a star. You clearly have what it takes to be a successful tavern keeper. In the full game, earning your first star will unlock new room types, such as kitchen. New challenges and advance the campaign. But alas, this is just a small teaser. Here, take 100 gold and a few new furniture options. Decorate, soak in the ambience, and see who comes through your doors. When you've had enough, click the finish demo to make one final decision. Oh. Okay. Is she saying if something's dirty? Is she not like? Oh, her patience is like. She's she has dirty feet. <laughs> is there like dirt on the floor that? It seems to be going well. She's getting served. She's happy. Service is eh. But we've got, you know, we hired a new person already. So oh, he's gonna go get that barrel. Put it in here. Nice. Wait, where'd those other barrels go? Wasn't there like... Oh wait, oh that blood wine was yeah. over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Seven new unlocks. Ooh. A comfy chair. Who doesn't like a comfy chair? A storage shelf. Like in that. Dead tree shells. Like that. Like that. Crocodile skin mat. Love that. <laughs> Lantern. Love that. <laughs> Work schedule. That's kind of cool. And a locker. That's awesome. Collect. Yes, I think I will collect that. This is cool. I'm gonna pause it again really quick just so I can do a little looking around these here. A cloth sack, round basket. I got some. Would this like hang on the wall? This stuff would hang on the wall, I would think. Containers. A huge barrel. Well, it is a huge barrel, isn't it? <laughs> Small table, flats. What's this stuff? Polished. Looks like we can't do it. Not available in the demo. Okay, so this is probably like build stuff. Like if you wanted to customize like the entire structure. Masonry. Ceramics. Flats. Stuff to hang on the wall. There's the bear skin rope. Where's the, where's the crocodile rug? We just unlocked that. Oh, what's that? Wait, we un we unlocked it, but it's not available in the demo. <laughs> it's all good. Let's see what. Let's see what we got. Rooms here. Outdoors. Oh, an outhouse. <laughs> a welcome mat. Oh, we've already got a welcome mat. Where can we put an outhouse? Can we put an outhouse somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have space for that. That's, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, tap room. Let's see. What can we do in the tap room? Put a. Ooh, do have the comfy chair though? Is there like a fireplace? Ooh, here we go. Hot belly stove. Yeah, that'll be nice. Let's see. Oh, we can do like on an angle. I was thinking. I was thinking like nice in the corner like this, boom, and then maybe a comfy chair next to it. Oh, this this does not go. Oh wait, can it go angled? Oh, it can go angled. All right, so I just want to like maybe not there. Ugh, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get this. There we go. That's all we're gonna. <laughs> that's that's fine. Storeroom, pallet, outdoors, staff room. Oh, that must be like this room here because it's got like a bed and stuff. Work schedule. We put the work schedule on the wall here. Spending all our monies. <laughs> Should we put a pot belly stove in there for them too? Keep it nice and warm. Yeah. Why the heck not? Um, let's keep it. Let's keep it warm in here. In a locker. Oh, oh, I'm out of money. That's fine. <laughs> Let's let the day go by and see how it goes. I love this. Oh, I love these characters too. Look at this steampunk troll, troll lady, caramel brewer. Oh, can we hire you? Can we like make our own like beer at some point? That'd be kind of neat. Hmm. Mm. Bulletin board. Are you talking about mosquitoes? Oh, is he warming himself up? Ah, enjoying that. More people coming in. The Schwamp and Slurry. I like. I, I like that. I like the name. <laughs> so what is this here again? Oh, this is just showing. To add drinks to the tavern. Oh, this is just what's on the menu. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's our menu. Because we've only got the two taps right now. Okay, why? Go. So we could like add another tap. Have another. Oh, that one's empty. Let's see. Select a drink. Um, how about dogs? Dogs bitter. No barrel is installed in this town. Well, it will be shortly. Momentarily. 
We're at 78%. Patron satisfaction. Things to try. So the only thing we have left is to finish the demo. This is really fun. I really love the look at this. I love the mechanics, the gameplay, the story. Characters are really fun. Oh, look at him cleaning up. Oh, look at him go. I love this guy. I'm glad he was our first... Uh... Oh, I like that it shows like what he's working on. Tell your staff to stop whatever they're doing right now. <laughs> stop it! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, wait. They don't have beds. <gasps> I think we have to... Hold on. We need um, staff room... Um, all right, I think I, I think I messed something up here because they have to have beds, right? All three of them. Can we do bunk beds? Like put one on top of another? <laughs> I can't put this there because of the bulletin board. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I can't go there. Can't go there. I need to like move some stuff. Let me, hold on. Let me move this out here, where they can read it. They can read it out here, right? All right, there, they can just read that there. So now, let's get another bed. Let me read to see what this says real quick. Like a table, but cozier and more acceptable to sleep on. <laughs> you think? All right, let me just uh, put this over here. Yes, okay, perfect. All right, now they're all good. Now they have beds to sleep in, all three of them. My wonderful staff, I got a... I think she's like a... Is she like an elf? Okay, so we got like an elf, a skeleton, and... <laughs> and a... Uh, and an orc. This is, this is awesome, love my staff. Love you guys who work hard every day. Can I give you guys bonuses? Um, give bonus. Give a bonus of 20 for a temporary happiness boost. Oh. So if they're not happy, for whatever reason, then just, just throw some coin at them. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> That's awesome. What are you eating? I can give you food. And then they put everything in storage. Love that. Let's see. Storeroom. There wasn't nothing else we could put in here, so that's fine. Always work schedule floor mat, bulletin board, we've got one of those. Lighting. Foundation. Ooh. Door. It's more of a frame, really. <laughs> a wall. And decorative stuff. Barrel stack. Storage shelf. This is definitely just like decoration though. Dun dun dun. Save our money. What's this here? Drink. Reputation, 94%. Cool. Services, 82%. Very cool. Alright. They're all just hanging out, so let's... Let's fast forward a bit. They're just hanging out. Nobody's doing anything. The Bayou Chronicle number two. Corpse by Enter the Name. Does... Does he not sleep? He must not sleep because he's undead? That's the only thing I can think of. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, you can assign staff. I... Hmm. Can you make them rest? I don't know. I was just saying, like, hey, this could be your bed. I guess it doesn't work that way? Weird. Okay. Or you can, like, if they're too tired, make them just make them take a nap. Maybe. So I guess today's just a normal day. New business ends in 5.9 hours. Tavern will close. What's that lock thing? Oh, that means it's, yeah, close. What this other thing is? Um, weird. Okay. Any patrons yet? Anybody coming? Oh, oh. We've got a dwarf looking guy coming out. He wants a he wants a drinky drink. We don't. Um, we 
can't build a staff store. Yeah, we can't do a um, can't do a kitchen or anything yet. So that's just gonna be what it is. Yeah. Cool. What you looking for, buddy? Loves apprenticeships. Doesn't understand their low pain tolerance. Once said they could really use a friend. Aww. We got you, fella. We'll be your friend. Ooh, what's that? Low stock. We were running low on some of our stock. Ugh. That's not good. Oh, he needs a bathroom, but I don't have a bathroom. I have no place to put a bathroom. Um, I have no place to put a bathroom. Because this would be outdoors. Oh, I don't even have money for it right now, anyway. Story time! Is it this guy? Wanting to use the bathroom? Curled parchments covered in cramped writing are scattered all over the bar top. A forlorn elf has been shuffling through the paperwork for hours, muttering under their breath. They haven't earned more than curious looks from the other patrons, but if a rush comes, you're going to need that bar surface to serve drinks. Mm. Maybe this elf could use a fresh set of eyes on whatever this mess is. Hmm. What are you working on there, friend? At first, the elf doesn't seem to hear you. But after a moment, their dazed eyes drift up to meet yours. What? Uh, nothing. Well, wait. You're a business type, right? You know about all the forms and taxes and fees and whatever. Money right. stuff, yeah? <laughs> I know my way around a ledger. What's the problem? Not really. I just scoop coins off the counter. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> a look of relief washes over their face and they scoot the parchments toward you with both hands. So, I'm a thief, right? Last month, I lifted a nobleman's coin purse, and it wasn't until I got home that I realized it wasn't full of coins. It was full of diamonds. Ooh. Do you have any idea what tax bracket that puts me in this year? <laughs> what do I do? That is awesome. You're a thief? Why would a thief pay taxes? Sounds to me like you better pay it. Why would a thief pay taxes? The elf looks affronted, their hand drifting up to their mouth as if to ward off a bad taste. Of course I pay my taxes. <laughs> I'm a thief, not a criminal. Oh, well. I did try to negotiate into a lower rate with the tax office, of course. You know, one thief to another. No luck. Hmm. That's tough. Maybe they'll take diamonds as payment. I'm no tax expert, but maybe just give some away. Hmm. Try that. The elf sits bolt upright, looking <laughs> thunderstruck. <laughs> By the spirits, that's brilliant! <laughs> and anything I give away, I can write off as a charitable donation against what I owe on the rest. I'm safe! There you go. They sweep all the papers off the bar top and into a bag. I can even give it away stealthily, so it's a work-related expense. Reverse <laughs> thievery. Genius. That's awesome. The elf rushes for the door, shouting something about a double write-off. <laughs> Sometime later, you discover the diamond resting in your front pocket. Oh, snap. Did we get some moolah? Nice. Okay. All right. I like that. Hmm. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my diamond? Where's my diamond at? <laughs> show me, show me, show me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We're running low on stock though, but the merchant doesn't come for like another day or so. Okay, that's that guy's still looking for the bathroom. Okay, let's see. But there's no place for me to Oh, there is! <gasps> okay. But not out here. It's got to be out here. Okay. Understood. There you go, fella. There you go, buddy. No worries. I got you. I got you covered. Man, he really had to go. He's like, I gotta go, man. I gotta go. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, this is empty now. Let's see. Here we go. Load that back up. I just love that the barrel gets like, like sucked in almost like a, a Capri Sun. <laughs> One's empty. Hey, There's lots of people here. Maybe we see some more tables. Let's get um, let's see, tap room. Let's get another small table out here. Where could we? Could we put it in a corner? Is that okay? We don't fit too many people. Oh! Let's put it right... This looks good... Let me rotate. Oop! That's not the way I wanted to rotate. Um... Here we go. Um... Yeah, let's just put it up against... Here like this. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know what that was turning red for, but I think, yeah, as long as I can sit there and somebody can come up to serve them, I think that's good. What's he doing? He's just hanging out. Can't serve? Oh, we're waiting for... Hold on, hold on. He's getting it. <laughs> well, this guy is... This guy's really waiting. Weak bladder. What? There's a bathroom there? Did he just leave? Why are you leaving? Oh, come back. I'm sorry. Should we get another tap going? I mean, I've only got one barrel of, barrel of drinkage left. Are they waiting for something that I don't have? Alright, so let's... Let's get another tap. Ooh. Can we put it here? I think we can. Yeah, okay. And then... The only thing we have left is Howl's something or other. <laughs> These people are thirsty! I don't have any more beer! Or wine or anything. I'm so sorry. I know I'm running out of stock. That's all I got. I'm so sorry. How's your energy? Energy halfway. Your energy's good. Your energy's good. Waiting their turn. You guys are busy. Oh, he's playing darts. He's throwing <laughs> darts with a knife. I love it. <laughs> How come nobody's sitting at this table? Why are you messing with that? You should be helping to serve the patrons. Decor. Mm, let's see. Textiles. Work cloth. Let's see, is there anything I can put on... Ooh, coverings. Here we go. Oh. If I put one... Wait, why is this like... Why is there like a line there? That's weird. Interesting. Okay. What else do we have? The doilies? We have doilies. There we go. You guys like that? Hey, like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why that's connected to that. That's weird. Well, we were gonna sell one of these beds, weren't we? Because, like, since he doesn't sleep. Here we go. Everybody loves what's in here? Or what was in there? There was something in there. Nothing in there now. Yeah, I know, we're out of beer. We are completely out. There's nothing I can do about it. I didn't buy enough last time, and the merchant will be there tomorrow, I think? I know you're waiting. I'm so sorry. 
I'm trying. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Let's check out this guy. I love his glasses. Oh, that's awesome. Well, are you gonna play now? What are you doing? You got work to do, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> energy, happiness, energy. Well, you guys are going to sleep soon, so you're going to be fine. His energy must just be always up because, oh, his happiness is through the roof. Got lots of moolah. Yeah, I've got nothing to put here, sorry. None. So that's eight in stock, though. Oh, it says six. Oh, cool. those are actually on tap right now. Okay. So cool. Yeah, I'm digging this a lot. I can't wait for the full game to come out. This is going to be. This is definitely going to be a new series. Just hanging out. Oh, getting ready to. Wait, are those pajamas? What did they just do? Going to staff table. Oh, okay. I like how they have these uniforms. I guess. Wait, where are you going? Are you not staff? Your staff, get over there. What are you drinking? <laughs> Crazy. Hmm. Hmm. All right. They're just wandering around at this point. Nothing to do. He had no bed, so like nothing else. Looks like we made a profit yesterday. Woohoo! Is it time to wake up? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Bayou Chronicles. The boy who lived a double life. Fragment of a warlike soul was found in possession of a young boy, cleverly hidden under a scar. The boy has been taken into custody, and should the warlock press charges, will be charged with identity theft. His parents could not be reached for comment. Oh, god, that's good. Wake up! Some of our props require attention to tap. Well, yeah, I realize that. The merchant has arrived. Yep. <coughs> Yep, yep, yep. Um, so that's stuff we bought. This is all he has? Druid's foot and imperial. Okay. I can only buy two? That's all I can buy from him? That's all you have, dude? Really? Mm, that's not good. I don't like that. Out of stock. Well... Hey boss, I think we've got some new applicants. Um... I guess? Okay, so let's select a drink here. Uh, oh, this has a lot of stuff though, like 20 in stock. Let's try Druid's Foot. Um, some new... We got Diana. Still got Riley Boren. What's that? Oh, it must be level two. Oh, okay. Well, we don't... We can't cook right now anyway, so... Um... Let's go with Riley. He's kind of messy, but that's okay. Definitely use a little bit of more help, I guess. People will be drinking at like morning. It's like morning time. Like, eh, it's all good. Mm -mm. Oh, we got Friar Tuck down here. Enjoying his libations. Damage. Fire chance. <laughs> That's hilarious. No pending tasks. 
can't like clean it or close the door. Yeah, I wish you could like give them tasks. It shows them what task they're doing. Assign bed. Select the bed the staff should sleep in. Only one staff can sleep in at a time. See, he he didn't sleep that first night, so I don't think he needs to sleep. Banned from rooms. I don't understand that. That's funny. I love this. This is so awesome. That's a little better. <laughs> oh. Okay, such a drink. Oh, she's bringing a barrel. Okay, never mind. Nice. So if you select a tap for one particular beer and there's more barrels, then they'll fill that. That's nice. Automatically. Wanted, dead or alive. This horse. <laughs> That's so good. One need this horse, dead or alive. Man, they must really like that druid's foot. The merchant's leaving. Oh, he doesn't even ride in his boat. He just pushes it. <laughs> That's awesome. Bye, merchant. Come back with more barrels next time, please. Thank you. Room schedule. That's interesting. I guess that's a way to set hours. Can I move it? Oh, I can move it. Come out like that. That's the same. I just barely moved it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize we had like this spot out here we could put some things. Um, was there like oh, nature, rocks, and stones, animal? What? Can I just put a bird somewhere? Like what? I'm just gonna put a bird over here. Like tweet there. Is it alive? It's a shame we can't keep on playing forever, but this is just a demo. How should we end things? Oh, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Whoa. Press it to end things with a bang, or let the timer run out and leave your tavern to putter along after you go. Um, it certainly is a tempting button, no? The suspense is simply dreadful. <laughs> I've got it. You're showing incredible restraint. I bet that clicking finger is simply itching. Uh, I just... It's getting close. You can if you want. No one will know. Just little old me. Um... <laughs> Joy of creation has a darker twin, the thrill of destruction. I'll keep that in mind when you join me for the full story. <laughs> Thanks for playing the Tavern Keeper demo. I've had ever so much fun. Oh, that was awesome. Look at him running around. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. That was fun. I don't know. I was like, I didn't know that was going to come up. I'm like, I can blow the place up. I guess that's what we're going to do. So that's Tavern Keeper. Uh, you can play this for yourself right now on Steam. Play through the demo and have some fun. Um, coming to PC 
quarter four 2024 or so in the next few months hopefully i'm looking forward to playing more of this again this is going to be this is definitely going to be another series um that i'll be playing here on the channel so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this and you want to see more um indie games cozy games pixel games things of that ilk so thanks everybody for watching really appreciate it see you guys next time <laughs> i don't know if we've blown up any more taverns <laughs>